Phil the cat. Meow. Would you please leave the room? Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Special. <laughs> yep. Is my life a f***ing joke to you? Absolutely. But what the f*** is your problem? What do I like to do every day during my lunch break at 1 p.m.? Well, unless Nelly took you back, God forbid. You usually drink a half ball of rye and cry about how many times you've utterly dropped the ball in your sad little life. No, oh, wait. Scratch that. That would imply that you've ever caught the ball, whereas we both know that your entire life is a drop ball. A. Go fuck yourself. B. What I do in the privacy of my own work truck is none of your fucking business. And finally, C. My bottle of rye was noticeably absent from my hour of self-reflection today. We both know you're the only person besides myself that knows that I hide a bottle of whiskey under my fucking spare tire. I've been sober for over 24 hours. That is not okay. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you fucking joking? Have you smelled your breath today? I'm half pissed just occupying the same space as you. Fine. If you must purr, I did drink your silly little bottle of rye yesterday. Why? Well, why? As you know, you insensitive prick, I enjoy having a light, low-calorie snack after supper. Thusly, I made my daily trek towards the French to partake in a lean cuisine, only to discover that the last one had been consumed. So, to prevent myself from fainting due to low blood sugar, I drank your bottle of whiskey. Arrive for an eye, is what you say? That is not how the saying goes. What the f*** are you talking about? I bought those lean cuisines. They were mine. You're getting in your vehicle, driving to the liquor store, and buying me a new bottle of whiskey right fucking now. Fine. I will. Just as soon as I can get my eyes to uncross, I think drinking an entire bottle of rye in under two minutes permanently damaged the ocular region of my brain. I hate it here.